Good morning, good morning, good morning. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your boy, Pat Coltrane. What's up with you, baby Bubba? I said, baby Bubba, what's up with you? Yeah, I know I'm late. I know I'm late um, for my Monday morning clarity. Um, and it's Tuesday, and it's barely even morning. But you know what? Y'all gonna get this work. You hear me? Um, after thinking about this thing, I'm sorry. I know I was super busy. Okay, that's my excuse. But after thinking about this thing, Sunday night, slept like a baby. Slept like a baby. Monday morning, I had all Monday to really think about it. All day Monday. Watched the replay, watched so many highlights. And it's here Tuesday. And I see clearly now. I see even more clearly now. This team is a problem, y'all. This team is a problem. Y'all saw how hyped I was about that defense. I had a reason to be. That that's not a fluke. After rewatching everything, this defense is a problem, y'all. I after watching them, y'all, like I, I said this in my uh post game live. It's something wrong with these this defense. It's something wrong with these. These players, man, like they playing on a whole nother level, dog. When I say something wrong, I mean that everything right. You hear me? They playing on a totally different level and the league should be scared, man. Like for real, I'm gonna be honest. The league should be scared. I knew we had a pass rush and I wasn't worried about my DBs. I was a little worried about our interior pressure coming into the season and at the, you know, but after watching this, I said it in my post game, this defense complete, and I still mean that. Y'all, y'all see the fear on my face. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I ain't never not seen nothing like this. Look, when you think about our past defense, yeah, we got a, you know, we had a solid defense. It was elite defense. You know, we had a heartbeat, you know, when Luke, you know what I mean, John Beeson, we always had that middle linebacker there. Yo, I'm looking at this defense here. And I'm like, they doing all this. And they ain't no real true leader out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? They just out there catching bodies. Like, they just out there listening to Phil Snow catching bodies. And this might be a, a weird analogy, but y'all ever seen Twilight, man? Right? <laughs> and Twilight is an action movie. Don't do me like that. Twilight is an action movie. And y'all remember the one Twilight when they talked about the newborns? Like, like whenever the play, whenever the uh the vampires they first become vampires, they like super they strong and just reckless and just hard to handle. These fools like newborns, man. They newborns. And it's scaring me, man. This, these dudes is scaring me. The speed, the strength, the aggressiveness, the intensity of this team. The pass rush is nasty. These DBs locking seatbelt. Buckle up, baby. I said, buckle the baby up. Lockdown. Everybody hitting hard. I can't explain it. This daggone defense is on a whole nother level, man. And it's it's a scary level. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Not this fast. Not this fast. Go watch the go watch the game. They just so fast. They just so fast. Fast. Everybody. All the defensive ends fast. All the linebackers fast. Okay? The interior linemen, the deep the defensive tackle, no tackle. Everybody. Fast and strong. If we ain't gonna, if we can't, if we can't out muscle you, we gonna we gonna run right by. We gonna run right by. You. The DBs locking 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 it down. The safeties locking it down. Like I said, the first game, you ain't even know we had safeties out there because nothing was getting to the second level almost. Hardly. In this game, it was almost the same. And then when it did, Justin Burris pluck it out of the sky. Y'all, this is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. And I think we got one more week. 
I think we got one more week before the jig is up. For real. Look, y'all better pay attention. We got one more week. See, right now, they still kind of sleep. I'm starting to see one or two analysts bring it up. You know what I'm saying? I see us going up in the power rankings a little bit more. But one more week, and everybody going to be on notice. Everybody going to see this mess. Okay? Everybody going to see this mess. It ain't going to be no secret no more. Rule, I see what you was doing now. I see what you was doing now. You did a good job hiding this secret. You did it. You did a real good job hiding this secret. Shout out Phil Snow, man. Shout out to Phil Snow. Phil OG Snow. Offensive wise, y'all, if Sam Donald play any better, we going to Super Bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is this is clarity now. This ain't me right after the game. I had a whole day to think about this. I had a whole day to think about this. If Sam Donald play any better, is we going to the Super Bowl. This is the best team we ever had. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like for real. That's how I feel. That might not be in a clarity moment. But y'all, I'm be honest. The weapons that he has, he has more weapons than we ever had on this team. More weapons than we ever had on this team. In my post game, I said bump this offensive line. And you know what? I still kind of feel like that. I don't care about this offensive line no more, man. Sam, if you play any better than you playing right now, bump the offensive line. You built for this, ain't it? Shoot, you better act right. You built for this. He was born in the dark, okay? He was born in the dark. You should be able to handle this offensive line. with You know, handle this offensive line with his shortcomings. And that's what he doing. If he play any better... The jig is up. I, I was talking about why they wouldn't let this man play. Was it some type of super secret <laughs> weapon? Super secret weapon? They ain't let this man play in the preseason. <sighs> y'all. Y'all enjoy it. Y'all enjoy it. Because right now, they still sleeping on us. And I kind of wanted to stay that way. I kind of wanted to stay that way. But to be honest, even if they catch on, I don't think it's going to even matter. Sam, if you play any better, we going to be a problem. Joe Brady, like I said about Joe Brady in my post game, y'all, Joe Brady is a young coach. Don't let the NFL trick y'all into thinking that he's any more. Because if you do that, if, if y'all let the NFL make y'all feel that way, then y'all going to be upset with him. Joe Brady is a young coach who only offensive coordinated uh Offensive coordinator experience he has is in college. He's new to the NFL as an offensive coordinator. Allow him to grow. And I promise you start thinking like that, you'll feel a lot better about Joe Brady. I know people that made him fit, seem like, oh, they they put him up there on this pedestal. He the next best thing. He's Sean McVay. He ain't none of that. He ain't none of that. He's a young guy. He's a young guy who don't understand that you got to practice red zone. All that's going to come. All that's going to come. All that's going to come. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Same thing with Matt Rule, who don't know how to, you know, manage a clock and don't know how to manage these timeouts. The only head coaching experience he has is in college. The only head coaching experience, y'all keep telling, and y'all can just keep, when you go to bed at night, before you go to bed and say your prayers and stuff like that, just tell yourself that, okay, Matt Rule, he knew the NFL coaching. Give him a chance. That's that what you got to do, and I promise you won't be so upset with him. That's where I'm at now. That's, that's why I, I got to keep telling myself this. I got to keep telling myself this. I got to keep telling myself this. But y'all, coming into this season, I really want us to be further along than what I thought we were going to be. And I'm satisfied where we at right now. I know it's only two games. I know it's only two games. Um, and we, you know, now they're making up all the excuses. Because going into, the, like I said, going into that game, it was, oh, Saints the best team in the lead. Saints the best team. They right up on the Tampa Bay Marks. But now after we beat them, oh, everybody was sick. The whole team, the whole team was hurt. Oh, poor little baby James. He just, you know, he had a game. They didn't know what to do with it. But going into this game, James was saying how how good his lineman was and stuff, and we destroyed all of that. Even some Panther fans feel like, hey, it's still, you know, it, these teams teams was bad. No, I seen something else out there, man. Just watching this team, I seen the potential. Y'all, we only got but so long. 
we only got but so long y'all better enjoy this y'all better get happy i seen a lot of fans saying look i'm i'm excited but i'm gonna just wait no y'all better enjoy these wins just like I, I this is one thing that i preach on my channel since i've been on the channel man enjoy these freaking wins man enjoy these wins y'all see i keep it consistent whenever they ain't winning or whenever i don't feel like they're doing good i jump on it and say look no same thing i keep it consistent whenever i see them winning oh i'm on it be happy enjoy these wins man enjoy these wins don't hit oh man i'm kind of nervous i don't want to get happy get excited get excited what's the worst that can happen they stop winning oh well at least you was excited you better learn how to embrace happiness when it hits you y'all want to hear that type of talk y'all want to hear me talking about analytics though panther fans i feel good about this team i feel really good about this team i feel really good about what they did sunday i'm excited i still i'm about to watch the game again this will be my third time watching it i'm about to go watch the game again i'm about to go watch this game again because i'm so happy um i got my preview coming that'll be dropping right after this video um join me tomorrow night at seven o'clock at the train stop houston fans if y'all out there come on by come on by yeah y'all got to get it too y'all got to get it too it's good especially the houston fan this one gonna be real good this one gonna be real good okay uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter at Pat Coltrain. Hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Pat Coltrain. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all later.